Hi, this is Michelle from Minima Designs, and this week I'm super excited to share with you one of my latest ninja tricks, how to create a landing page in five minutes or less. Right now you're looking at the new site for my friend, Danielle Diamond. We've been working together for a number of years and she's about ready to share with the world her new business venture. So we've been creating a brand new website for her. Now, as I scroll down, you can see we've got rows and columns and items go to the edges of the screen. Now, a couple of years ago, you would have had to do a lot of coding to get something like this. Well, I'm gonna show you the tool that's allowing me to cheat because that tool is what we're gonna use in our five minute landing page. Now, I flipped to the back end of WordPress so I can show you how this plugin works. The plugin I'll be using is called Beaver Builder. Now, I know it's a funny name, but it can do some amazing things. I know I wanna go ahead and create a landing page, so the first thing I need to do is to create an actual page. I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna click Pages and then click Add New. And I know I wanna title the page Wellness Pros. Now, a couple things I need to do first. I love the Genesis theme framework, and I'm using that on this site. Now, in order to get that full width image or bleed, I need to do one thing before I can use the page builder, and that's use the Genesis Dam Buster plugin. Now, this plugin is free and it's in the WordPress repository. I'll put a link to it below in my post. What this plugin does is it allows you to break the container box. So this means if you wanna create a full width image or a color bleed or something that takes up the entire width of the screen, you need to break that container and this Dam Buster will do it for you. The other thing that it does is it allows you to remove any extraneous stuff. And by that, I mean your header, your footer, anything you don't want on a page. Well, if we're creating a true landing page, we really don't want any of those distractions. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already installed the plugin, so I just need to enable it for the page. And if I go down to the bottom here, you'll see that here's the Genesis Dam Buster, and this is what it'll look like. And I need to make sure that Enable Tweaks is on. I wanna make sure it's full width, and I wanna go ahead and remove all those things I talked about. So the header, the navigation, anything else that could come up on the page. I'm just gonna check all the boxes. I don't want any footers or widgets. I don't have any background, so I don't need to remove that. So I've got that set. I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. So I go ahead and create publish that page. And there's one other thing I like to do. You'll notice there's something here called title toggle. This is another Genesis specific plugin called Genesis Title Toggle, great name. And what that does is it actually turns off the page title. So if you just have a completely up blank page and you don't do this, you'll still have the page title there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the checkbox on that and just click update. Now I've navigated to the page and it's totally blank, which is exactly what we want. One little trick is that I like to keep one window open to WordPress and one window open to the page I'm working on. So I can just kind of tab back and forth. So now let's go ahead and build our page. The first thing we're going to do is click the page builder tab. Now do note, whenever you're using the page builder, you cannot go back to the text editor or you will lose your changes. So keep that in mind. Now you get the option of working with layouts. And this is really cool if you wanna start from something and they come with landing pages pre-built in. So you could simply choose one of these and add it to start. It's got a lot of great stuff built in, but I wanna start from scratch. So we're gonna start with a blank page. Okay, blank page ready for our content. First thing I need to do is add a row. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add content, rows, and I'm just gonna do a two column layout. Now I know that I'm gonna have a big background image and I want my content to the left or to the right of the image. Next, I wanna edit the row itself. So as you see, when I roll over, I get the blocks and I get this little gear, which will allow me to modify the row settings. When I click that, dialog box comes up and I'm able to make my changes. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make this a full width row, which means it'll span the entire width of the page, but I wanna keep my content fixed, which means it's gonna be centered and aligned. Next, I'm going to make my height full height. I'm only gonna have this one row. So this is actually gonna take up the entire span of the web page. Next, I'm going to select a background photo for the row. I'm gonna go down here and select photo. And I've already prepared and uploaded this photo to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I've got my image. All of that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now that we've got our background, we're ready to add our content. Clicking add content, I'm gonna add a basic text editor module. It's the one I typically use for stuff. And I'm gonna add in some copy here. And I'm also gonna add a subscribe form. And that's under our advanced modules here. And you can see it puts in the box for me, which is awesome. And now I just need to connect it to her MailChimp account. 
And what's really cool is you can select if it's going to be stacked or inline. And if you've ever coded one of these little buggers, you know it can be a real pain. So I'm going to go ahead and probably keep this one inline, which means it's all in a row here. Danielle doesn't want to show the name on this one, so we're just going to take the name off. So it's just going to be email address. You can see it fixes that there. And then a few other settings you can redirect on a success to a thank you page, which we'll probably do later, or you can show them a message, which is they've already pre-filled here and you can easily edit the text that displays. I've gone ahead and tweaked the background colors of the button and I'm gonna go ahead and change the text that goes on the button itself right here. Again, something that's really easy to do. You can also change the style, you can change the font size if you wanna make it larger. If you wanna customize this even further, you can always add a style class or ID if you wanna do this in your style sheet. Pretty happy with all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, you may be wondering, uh, you know, this is a little hard to read. Is there some way that we could maybe put a background behind it? You can see here we've got columns, and I wanna go ahead and just edit the column settings. And here we can edit the background color. And let's just say I wanna go black. Okay, but I want some of it to show through, which means I want the opacity to change. So what if I made this 50% opacity? Oh, see, now you can see. Maybe I wanna go mm, a little bit darker. So let's go, let's go 75. Now this allows me to see some of the background behind, but allows the text to be clear once I change it to white. All right, I'm gonna save that. And I also want to make that text white so I can do this right here. Again, you can always do this in your style sheet if you want to do it that way. Okay, happy with that. Maybe I want this box to also be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go back to column settings and I'm going to have it take up more of the space. And I also want to change the padding on it. So let's do this. And as I do this, you can see how it changes, right? So I can set all the padding. All right. Maybe I want this text to be centered. Again, you can do this a variety of ways. Okay. And maybe I want this to be a little bit bigger. I've already set some of these in the style sheet. That's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done and I'm gonna publish the changes. And boom, there's my landing page. You can get as crazy as you want, as complex as you want, but this is a quick and dirty way to go ahead and create those landing pages and make them look pretty much however you want really easily. I hope this has been helpful for you, and for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, come visit me over at minimadesigns.com.